OneXBet are the official partners of the AFCON 2022. Predict the winner of AFCON and stand a chance to win big. Use promo code SFOOT to sign up now. The Nigeria Super Eagles will be eager to improve on their third place finish in 2019 under coach Kenneth Traw, who has in the last 24 hours been sacked. The German has been under a lot of criticism following a run of bad performances from the Super Eagles, who boast a wide array of talent but seem to falter or stutter in the qualifying games, especially in their 4-4 draw with Sierra Leone and their shock loss to Central African Republic in World Cup qualifying. Heading into AFCON 2022 in Cameroon, they will be under new interim manager Augustine Eguavuan who has been in this situation before. Nigerians will hope a change in manager, especially at such a crucial time, will not detract or hamper their preparations for the AFCON, which they have been tipped to be one of the teams to go all the way. Victor Osimhen, their highest scorer in qualifying with five goals, suffered an injury which initially was thought would keep him out of action for 90 days. But he recently returned to training and Nigerians are hopeful he can join the squad next month for their 19th appearance at the Continental Showpiece and possibly lead them to their fourth glory. Nigeria qualified from Group L, which comprised of Lesotho, Benin, and Sierra Leone, finishing top of the pile in what was a Navy qualifying campaign. They will kick things off versus Egypt on the 11th of January 2022 at 5 p.m. GMT before facing Sudan on the 15th of January 2022 at 5 p.m. GMT and rounding things off in the group versus Guinea-Bissau on the 19th of January 2022 at 8 p.m. GMT. The Pharaohs of Egypt are the most successful side in the AFCON competition, winning it seven times and playing in it for what will be a record 25th time in 2022. And the new manager in Portuguese, Carlos Kierros, they will be hoping to get back to their glory years which saw them dominate the competition from 2006 to 2010, winning it three times in a row and securing the AFCON trophy for keeps. Main man and highest scorer in qualifying, Mohamed Salah, will be hoping he can lead his country to glory once again. He is the in-form player in Europe right now, with 30 goal contributions for so far this season, and the strong contender for the Ballon d'Or next year, should he maintain his form and performances. They qualified from a group comprising of Comoros, Kenya and Togo, finishing top of the pile. Mohamed Sharif and Mohamed Morsi also joined top scorers with Mo Salah in qualifying. Egypt will kick things off in Group D versus Nigeria on the 11th of January 2022 at 5 p.m. GNT before locking horns with Guinea-Bissau on the 15th of January 2022 at 8 p.m. GMT and finishing things with a clash with Sudan on the 19th of January 2022 at 8 p.m. GMT. Sudan on Sunday night followed in the footsteps of fellow group members Nigeria in sacking their head coach Hubert Velat, who had a poor run in the currently ongoing Arab Cup in Qatar. They conceded 10 goals scoring none and lost all three group games versus Algeria, Egypt, and Lebanon. They also finished bottom of World Cup qualifying, winning none and finishing with three points in a group comprising of Morocco, Guinea-Bissau, and Guinea. Fair to say, it has not been a good round for Hubert, who, however, did manage to qualify them to the AFCON despite being in the same group with South Africa, Ghana, and Sao Tome and Principe. He will be replaced with a local man in veteran coach Bohan Tia, assisted by Mubak Soleiman and Mohsen Syed. His first task will not be an easy one, as he will look to guide the Falcons of Jedain to their ninth AFCON appearance and ensure qualification to the knockout phases at least in a group with Nigeria and Egypt. That being said, a third place finish could still see them qualify out of the group. Can he manage that? Mohamed Abdurrahman was their highest scorer in qualifying with three goals and we hope that a new manager can inspire him to find his goal scoring touch once again. 
Sudan will kick things off in Group D versus Guinea-Bissau on the 11th of January 2022 at 8pm GMT before facing Nigeria on the 15th of January 2022 at 5pm GMT and rounding things off with a clash versus Egypt on the 19th of January 2022 at 8pm GMT. The short South African Wild Dogs of Guinea uh, will be making only their third AFCON appearance in Cameroon next year. Under coach Yeme Farhinga, uh, they will be hoping to make it to the knockout phases knowing full well a third place finish could be enough. Guinea-Bissau qualified from a group uh, comprising Senegal, Congo and Eswatini, formerly called Swaziland, finishing second in the group. They will be hoping they are joint top scorers in qualifying. Jorge Fernando Barbosa and Jassi Brito Silva will be on song in Cameroon next year to find the goals they will need to qualify from the group. Guinea Bissau will kick things off in Group D versus Sudan on the 11th of January 2022 at 8 pm GMT before facing Egypt on the 15th of January 2022 at 8 p.m. GMT and rounding things off versus Nigeria on the 19th of January 2022 at 8 p.m. GMT. Which teams will qualify from this group? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box.